I'm Dr. Max Wisnitzer. I'm a child neurologist at Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital, and I'm excited to tell folks about all the work that we're doing in neurodevelopmental disabilities, which include ADHD and autism. The main focus of research is in autism, and it's really an innovative project that's being done in conjunction with multiple investigators from around the country, including the main investigators in Detroit, and that's trying to alter the natural history, change the course of autism. The way this is being done is to identify the children, put them on a specific medication called buspirone, and hopefully change the wiring in the brain in order to make their functioning better. This is unique because projects to date have mainly dealt with identifying the children, trying to identify things that might cause it, using behavioral strategies or educational strategies to try to help improve their lessons. This is the first time they're actually trying to use a medication specifically to improve the wiring and the brain itself in these children. The research dovetails in that what we're, we're, we're one of the projects that is actually looking to change the course of autism, improve the functioning of the children, lessen the severity, and if you lessen the severity, you improve their functioning. You improve their functioning, not only do you make it better for the children, but the overall cost of society significantly decreases. Uh, when we talk to peers, we mentioned, first of all, the Buspirone project. We also talk about the statewide project in which I'm a member to try to identify these children uh, at an early age. It's called the ACT Early Campaign. Part of that is going out and helping primary care providers identify the individuals uh, so that they can make timely referrals. In the past, for instance, it used to be maybe age three or four years before they were identified. We know you can identify them easily as early as age two or three years, probably to around two so that that makes it easier for them to improve when the brain is more plastic, which means when the brain has a greater chance to improve how it develops and to alter how it develops so that they can do better. But talking to the peers, we talk about that project, and we also talk about just in general the idea of how to control the unwanted behavior so that the individuals learn good habits and are better, uh, better accepted into society instead of being seen as individuals whom you have to fear because who knows when they're going to have a tantrum control the tantrums, you can see them for the true individuals that they are.